All right, hello Facebook friends. Um, I thought that I would share some of my painting hacks that I have figured out finally. I've been teaching 12 years and this uh, past school year last spring is when I really figured out painting methods that work quickly to set up paint, dispense paint, clean up paint when we've got such short amount of transition times in between our um, classes. So what I have finally moved to is using an egg carton full of all the different paint colors um, that I have for my students. And I'm letting them use acrylic paint. I teach middle school, um, so I'm fine with having them use acrylic. And this is when the lesson is not about color mixing. If I wanted them to be learning how to mix colors, I would only be giving them the primary colors. Um, but when I just need them to paint something quickly and easily, this is the fastest way to do this. So um, what I've done is I pre pour every color and I put a popsicle stick inside of each color and that's how they scoop the paint out and put it on their plate and then also um, I kind of have it on a lid it's actually a lid to a Tupperware it's like the serving tray so I put a handful of paintbrush sizes and a couple ink pins in there and I used to have my students use those plastic um, paint palettes that had individual little holes in them and then they'd have to clean them at the end and really that was such a headache when my kids were terrible at cleaning quickly into transition so now I just use a styrofoam plate and I just tell them to write their name on the bottom so that um, we know whose plate is who and then I teach them how to properly scoop out the paint from these egg crates. So um, I have gold and silver kind of in their own little cups resting on the lid because I can fit 12 of my main paint colors, one inside each spot. So I show the kids how um, if they want to mix, um, say they want to lighten their color, if they're going to make a tint of that color, I explain how they're going to take white, they're going to scoop out white. And you can see that just a regular popsicle stick can scoop a large amount of paint at one time. Um, and then I show them how they wipe it on the edge of their plate. They put the white popsicle stick back in the white paint color. Then if they wanted to get brown, for example, they scoop out brown. They wipe brown on their own uh, section on their plate. And then the brown goes right back in the brown paint so they're not getting contaminated. And I specifically explain do not wipe your brown paint over the top of the white paint because then you're going to get white on this popsicle stick and then when I put it back in the brown it contaminates. Um, and I also like to show kids how to mix with the end of their paintbrush handle because then they're not jamming the paint up inside the bristles um, which they have to clean out before they start painting. Um, so I show them how you just scoop a little bit of the dark color and stir it into the light color. Always mix dark to light because you can always add more dark to darken it as you go. And then I have them use their paper towel to just clean off the end of their paintbrush and then they're ready to go. And then um, I always have to explain how when you're switching colors, you have to clean your brush. If you're done with the dark, you got to clean that brush. And um, I saw lots of other art teachers doing this hack where you just put a Tupperware at their um, table. Lots of teachers use the wa the dog water bowls, but I just had these Tupperwares and I got these giant car washing sponges that I cut in half so I, they could go further. And then I just teach them swish it in the water, paint it on the sponge. That typically removes all the rest of the color from um, jammed inside the bristles and then they're ready to change colors. Uh, so that's worked out really, really well um, with my class. I also saw another art teacher uh, use messy mats for elementary kids and I decided that middle school kids can also benefit from this so I just laminated a piece of 18 by 24 paper I printed out a color theory chart to help them know how to mix colors laminated all that together and this basically covers one student desk because um, they're about similar to the desk size in my class. So that has been a lifesaver to have them paint on top of those to help go clean up, go quickly. Um, and then one last hack that um, I finally figured out to do, which I'm sure I saw another teacher do this on Facebook or Insta, whichever. So I've got these paper towel dispensers that you have to like crank the handle and tear each piece. And that takes forever to dispense 
paper towels. So now I just ask my custodian for rolls that are not put in my paper towel dispensers. And now I just take an X-Acto knife or a box cutter. And what I do is I just cut on the top edge all of this folds open. Then I just pick up a long piece and I just cut it in half. And this goes so much faster and quicker than trying to use my machine. Um, and then I can just put a stack of paper towels at every table. So those are kind of my painting hacks when I'm teaching um, anything that requires painting. So um, it is a lot of prep work to do, um, but it's worth my time. So you can see this is my classroom space and we're all painting tomorrow. So I came in on Sunday. I've got everything set out and prepared. Um, you can see that the lids are shut right now and um, I can do this for three weeks and not have acrylic paint dry out just by closing the lid. Now I do have to refill the paint when it gets used up, but in terms of it drying out, it doesn't dry out. This has been enough for me to do. So I just have to teach the kids how to put the popsicle sticks um, inside the colors. But yeah, these are my messy mats and we're good to go for tomorrow. So if that helps somebody make your life easier, um, use it, modify it. Happy uh, December. We've got a few weeks left till the end of the semester.